So 16 to 80 people now. This is called Clubhead Blur. So I've got 193 yards from up here. I've got seven iron. I can see it landing short and let it run out, but I need to be drawn it to make that work. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look at trying to visualise or trying to see at impact at my practice swing the club head blur. Okay, so I'll get myself lined up first. Okay, so I'm good there. So now I'm going to lift my club above the golf ball and make little moves of where I want the club head to pass through the ball at impact. Okay, so I'm swinging a little bit in to out here and I can see the blur, the club head blur. If I see the blur going to the left and I'm on the wrong path, so I'm watching my club head blur. That's where I want to go. And then I can address the ball and go and play the shot and repeat that club head path along the blurred line. If you've got a white driver, white headed driver, white headed fairway, it's great for this because the white, so it does blur a lot more. Okay. A little punchy seven iron trying to get it running from the front edge. Take my address position, lift myself up, blurring into out. I can see that blur, that's where I want to go. Brilliant. Down and play that, repeat that blur. Okay, it's good, happy. So just watch the blur. If I if I'm trying to hit the ball right to left, or whichever way shape I'm going, I know where I want the club path to go. Even for even if you don't know where you want the club path to go, try and get it to go straight back, straight through. You can see it in an arc round over the top of the golf ball, and you can follow the blur. And then put the club down behind the ball and repeat that motion that created that original practice swing blur. Give that a try, it should straighten up your ball flight, but at least it gives you an advantage because you've already done it in practice, so you know where the club's going to travel through the ball at impact.